morning guys final day in Malvern it's only a partial day because we are leaving very 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 soon uh, we're just having breakfast we're already all packed up and uh, we'll be heading to Sydney later today just having some breakfast this is what I got so we decided to use the rest of the fruit so I got a banana two apples in there some nobbies nuts peanuts just to try and use them up uh, two high protein yogurts and some water I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna get on the road as soon as possible Let's go. Okay then, so just checked out of the hotel and put it in on the sat nav for our hotel in Sydney and it's given us an arrival time of 6.45pm that's obviously without stoppages and going at the speed limit and that is a nine hour and six minute drive and it's 531 miles so fair to say a good amount of driving to do today we'll obviously be stopping a fair amount we only slept for like three four hours so it's likely that i'll have to stop at a few points for little naps just you know because it's not to, it's not good to drive when you're falling asleep is it so you know if you if you ever feel like that you ever feel drowsy it's not worth it just pull over and have a nap i always do so no shame in it but um yeah a lot of driving to do today so let's enjoy the ride saw that before like I saw you know stay on the M1 for 110 miles or something but never 501 miles that's crazy so I guess this is this is us for the next what nine hours um, obviously we'll be stopping but uh, if there's anywhere to stop there will be yeah, one there obviously we're gonna get petrol and stuff up there yeah, we'll have to, we've just got over half a tank of petrol, so we're, we're going to have to stop. Uh, probably make it around lunchtime just so we can eat as well. Uh, but we're not going to be stopping unnecessarily. Um, only when, you know, I'm tired or, you know, we need to eat or we need to go to the toilet or whatever. Because, like I said, you know, we want to get there um, not too late. Stop of the day, just had to go to the toilet. Pretty sure we're about 50 to 70 miles in to the journey. And um, we've actually set the maps now to it's roughly halfway. Um, what is it called? Aubrey? Yeah, I think it's Aubrey. And we're gonna stop there for lunch to fill up on petrol and uh, just to kind of break up the journey a little bit. But that's about, I think, about two hours away so they're gonna get back on the road and uh head on on to the honestly everyone yeah 
it's worth a watch. Um, <coughs> the, the, the thing that I sort of always come down to after I listen to someone like him is... What's the town where we are? Quarter past two. No, the town. Aubrey, is it? Aubrey. Aubrey. Okay, so we are right at around the halfway point. Well, I think just before halfway, to be fair. Uh, at a town called um, Aubrey. And we're just stopping. I need to go to the toilet. We're going to kind of make this like the halfway break. Um, you know, because... If you just keep driving and driving and driving, it just drags on. So we're just going to kind of break it up a little bit. We're going to stop here for an hour or so. Uh, I'm just going to get some lunch at the Kentucky Fried of Chicken. And then I think we're going to get to Woolworths. Just get some drinks and some snacks for the journey as well. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired now. I'm hoping after eating, because I do feel very hungry. I'm hoping after eating a... You know, it gives me a little bit of energy and I feel a bit more awake because otherwise I'm going to have to keep stopping for little naps. So, I'm just going to get some food. It's, uh, it's time now, like 2 o'clock? Quarter past 2. Quarter past 2. And it's 27 degrees now. I thought it was hot. Oh, it's pretty hot now. So, got to a KFC, went to Woolworths, picked up a couple of drinks, a couple of snacks for the drive, and now I'm just in this mall shopping centre thing, and I'm just about to put $2 in this massage chair, uh, just to you know, try and get some knots out, obviously it's not going to work, but it's going to be a nice relaxing thing to do before, you know, the best part of a five hour drive, so let's give it a go. So we have left the mall now. I had that little massage. Obviously, you know, it's not the best. It, what do you expect for like $2? Um, but, you know, it was nice. It was pretty nice. It felt like someone was just like constantly punching my back in a relaxing way, you could say. Um, but we got, like I said, we got a few things from Woolworths. We got a couple of drinks, a couple of snacks. Uh, and now one of the snacks that I got which I couldn't pass up the opportunity to buy was a Cadbury's Dream Bar. I think it's Cadbury's. Yes, a Cadbury's Dream Bar. Now, these pretty much became extinct in the UK for whatever reason. Uh, I'll say around about 10 years ago now. I'm pretty sure I used to buy them from the shop. They were, they were about 30p. If these were in the UK now, they'd be about, what, about a pound. Um, All the chocolate bars that's, are proud. That's like the inflation for you in the past 10, 11 years. Um, but like, I don't know why they got rid of them, but and I've never seen them since. But these tasted so good. I, but the wrapper was slightly different. I remember them being a little bit flatter. Um, but it should still taste pretty good, I think. I'll, I'll, let's hope we can relive some childhood memories by jumping down on one of these dream bars. Alright, that's what it looks like. Obviously, it's white chocolate. I'm not really a fan of white chocolate. No, that's nice. That is nice. I can't remember if it's the same as what In one mile, it tasted like when I was a kid. But, it tastes nice. Bring them back, Cabbage. So, we've got about another 350 miles to go, about five and a half hours of driving. 
and um, yeah, just gonna listen to a couple of podcasts, namely the True Geordie. I am probably my favourite podcast to listen to lately. And then um, yeah, just trying to enjoy the drive really. To Sydney, let's go. Okay, so stopped again. It's feeling pretty tired, so decided to pull over. For an hour. <laughs> for an hour, wasn't <laughs> that? I was probably asleep for like 10 minutes. No, after an hour of driving. Oh, yeah, after another hour of driving. So I had a, about a 10 15 minute nap. You stretch my legs. So I'm going to do that now, and uh, then uh, we'll get on the road for a little bit. not help their train legs two days ago. They're cramping up. They're so, so, so tight. Did you just shout my name? No. Permanent guilt, clearly, from us at you. Like, the, that, did that just affect you throughout the rest of the evening or for weeks on end? Or? Oh, for a long time. If I decided I was going to stop you so obviously there are all bad eggs out there, but we're saying there are people who are potentially middle of the road guys who could go one way or two ways to dehumanise both sets of those people. Yeah. And you do sort of realise that that's the basis of those things, that actually the reason, it, you know, Italian gangsters portray themselves with some sort of different attitude to what you had when you first came in of let's get the bad guys to now... Um, who is the bad guy? Who, well, not necessarily who's the bad guy, but... Um, Shouldn't I think? But actually, I put a lot more people in prison than were vulnerable mm -hmm. and just needed help. You know, there's so many of the problematic heroin users. A few years ago, when I was a kid, uh, born Ben Alton's books, it was called High Society. Society. And it was about a minister who tries to legalise drugs. Because one minister, there's something about one minister every year is allowed to suggest a law they can push through. Mm -hmm. And so he's talking about legalising all drugs. And it very, it's basically the situation in, in the States where uh, marijuana has been legalised as well. Yeah, and there is less opioid overdoses in this day. So we stopped again. Uh, I think there's about two hours left to go. I'm just in Hungry Jacks, just got some cheap, just got some cheap, quick food with plenty of calories in, a little bit of protein, and. Uh, it's probably going to be our, one of our last stops before we get to Sydney. Um, it's probably going to be one of our last meals as well. So I'm just going to eat this and then uh, see how I'm feeling later on, really. Basically in the Bronx of Sydney, but uh, yeah, we'll see you when we get into the room. Hey, 
Okay, so we're in Sydney, we're in the hotel room now. I've actually put everything away. We're also just gonna, you know, um, leave it until the morning and just get straight to sleep because we both are knackered. The girlfriend actually pretty much fell asleep, but um, I'm still here. Um, I've just had a shower, but let me uh, just give you a quick tour of the room. Okay, so very simple wardrobe, bed, girlfriend, desk, sh uh, mirror, another mirror, and shower, toilet. But this bathroom is pretty big if you haven't, if you can't already make out. Um, but yeah, as I was saying outside, like this is like, it looks like the Bronx of um, Sydney. You'll see the Bronx being in New York, um, this being the other side of the world. I uh, don't really know what to expect. Um, you know, I'm sure it is a nice area, but it just, honestly, it just looked a bit sketchy from the outside. Now this hotel, um, I probably shouldn't speak too loud because it's like 2 a.m. Um, but this hotel is kind of like a, um, like the majority of the building is like a pub and it has, um, you know, like like a massive gambling room. There's like slot machines and whatever. So there's literally like, people still downstairs, like just gambling. Um, it's like a mini Vegas hotel, you can say. Um, but yeah, from the outside, it looks very, very sketchy. But our room is actually very nice and I was surprised by, um, by the quality of the room, you know, looking outside the hotel, but it, it, it is what it is, it will do, it's, you know, more than, um, you know, than what we need really, um, you know, we have a fridge, we have bathroom, bed, what else do you need? And I'm going to end the video here because I'm very tired, didn't get much sleep last night, but I'm going to get very, very, very decent sleep tonight, and, uh, yeah, just enjoy getting some sleep for once um, so I'm gonna end this video here hopefully you guys have enjoyed it please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and I will see you tomorrow Peace.